Each June, the little town of Spivey's Corner in Sampson County held a hollering contest to benefit the fire department. The contest was held for decades before it was canceled, but we checked it out in 2005, and that's our Throwback Thursday. I want y'all to know I'm something another glad a while to be in Spivey's Corner today. If y'all tickled, let me hear you say, Whoa! Hollering started back before we had telephones. And in rural America, typically the only way that people could communicate would be the farmer or whatever would go out in the yard and they had a distinct hollering. It could be a distress holler or a announcement of baby, the cow's out, whatever. It didn't make any difference. I'm a middle school teacher. And I just want to tell you what we teachers say when those beautiful children get on that school bus that last day of school. Hallelujah! In the late afternoons, I love calling to my Aunt Elma with her feeder pigs, and this is for her. Woo! Think about it. Back when Harlem was going on, people weren't going to psychiatrists and taking nerve medicine. You didn't hear all these stress-related illnesses. So if you want to stay strong and live long, holler on a regular basis. I've got a big red pickup that goes with my big red coat. And my license plate on the back is W-O-O-O-O-O. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.